Well, my knocking days are over, I might tell you. I shall soon be leaving this soil for the other side of the world. We're going to Australia. Australia? You mean I'll never see you again? Well, we'll be round to say goodbye. And we'll be having a party for all our friends. Who are your friends? Where you hold it, in a telephone box? <laughs> Here, look. Before you go, I'll have my own. And in fair trade, I'll take my spade. Right. All right, all right, there's no need to chuck it. Ah, shut your face. Give me my bucket. Go! Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, right, I told you there was someone in it. What's up? You have asked for it, Spencer. No, I'm unarmed. Yeah, I'll give you. I'm unarmed. (laughs) (laughs) You're sore, I believe. (laughs) That's your hoe, I believe. Is mine. <laughs> That's your greenhouse as well. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Betty! Yes? I'm excited. <laughs> it's come. Just like Grandad said it would from Australia House. Dear Mr. Spencer, we are pleased to inform you that a personal nomination has been received on your behalf for settlement in Australia. Signed, B. Lawrence, the Chief Migration Officer. The Chief Migration Officer. <laughs> you can hold it too. <laughs> oh, Betty, oh, Betty, I can't believe it. <laughs> We're going to the bottom of the world and we're going to start a whole new life together upside down. (laughs) I'm frightened, Frank. Moving to a new country. What about your job? Job? Postcarding myself in a pie shop window? Advertising my necks like a common strumpet? But going away won't change anything. And think of what you'll be leaving behind. Part of your life's here. That's the part I want to leave behind. (laughs) Betty, look, I didn't want to join a brain drain. (laughs) The way things are, the sooner my brains are removed, the better. (laughs) Frank, Australia's so far away and we'll be meeting strange people. They're not strange, they're like me. (laughs) I mean, look at Rolf Harris, he isn't strange, is he? I know he walks a bit funny with that third leg, but I mean, <laughs> he doesn't wear that all the time. But you've always been so patriotic. Betty, no one's patriot more than me. I've worn the Queen's braces, I've marched on her socks, I've had her RAF trousers up to there. And where's it got me? I've given it my all, and it's got me nowhere. Oh, things were different when my mother was a boy. <laughs> And there was an empire then, and there was pomping and circumstancing, and we had processions like the Queen's Carnation, and everyone lining up, and we'd stand there waving our little things. And, and, and my mother used to write, We cheered the lords and ladies, and all the streets were lined. We'd waited since three, but all we could see was the Queen of Tonga's behind. <laughs> Look at that, Betty. Australia house. (laughs) We're practically on Australian soil. Oh, Frank. Oh, excuse me. Good on your sport. (laughs) The weather's fair, Winkum. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. (laughs) I thought you was one of them. (laughs) Beg your pardon. Hoppity hop. Mr. Spencer, I'm Mr. Lawrence. Oh, the chief migration. 
How do you do, Mr. Lawrence? Do do? This is my wife, Mrs. Spencer. Good morning. Mrs. Spencer. I was just admiring your boomerang. <laughs> That's a broken chair arm. <laughs> Please sit down. Now, regarding your emigration. Now, You like to sit over here, Mr. Spencer? Just here. Now, regarding your emigration application... Yes, well, I don't know when it will be convenient for us to leave. We certainly can't go this week. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Spencer, that's quite out of the question. In fact, it might be out of the question for several weeks, because I'm hoping to take flying lessons. What? Yes, also, we haven't found a buyer for the cat yet. Cat? <laughs> Mr. Spencer! Apart from your grandfather, what else made you decide that you'd like to uh, settle in Australia? Well, it's near the sea. <laughs> well, it's, it's got the sea all around it, which is very nice for the swimming. <laughs> and also, I'm very fond of the ocean now. No ball. <laughs> You used to do quite a lot of that, didn't you, Frank? Yes, I did. But unfortunately, I had to desist uh, because of my trouble. <laughs> All the friction, you see. Friction? Oh, you mean at club meetings? No, no, when I run. <laughs> I tried wearing shorter pads, but I still got it up here, right there, when I ran between the wickets. <laughs> Don't touch it, Betty. <laughs> yes, well, we're not too bothered about your spare time activities, Mr Spencer. After studying application form, I'm more concerned about what you'll be doing for the rest of the week. Now, I gather your grandfather has quite a big spread. Well, all dispensers are rather well built. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from myself, and I've got more the lean and hungry look. <laughs> My mother always thought that I looked like Mahatma Gandhi when I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> How well do you know him? Well, I didn't know him at all, but I saw all his films. <laughs> your grandfather. How well do you know your grandfather? Have you had a long relationship? <laughs> well, I've always been his grandson. <laughs> I mean, do you see him often? Uh, no, I mean, we thought he passed on. Because that's why we didn't send him a Christmas card last year. No. And he hadn't written for ages. No. But he was never much of a letter writer. I mean, if he had died, he'd never have told us. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the Spencers are not unknown in Woolloomooloo. <laughs> no, my great-grandfather Basil lived there first. Yeah, well, I don't think we need to go into that, Mr Spencer. Famous for his animal impressions. Yes, I see. But he decided to leave England. Well, it wasn't out of choice, but the deportation orders being somewhat harsh in those days. One night, he accidentally did the mating cry of the black-headed sheep, and 12 of the little fellas followed him home. Oh. No, 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 Mr. Oh, Spencer. you do it too. That's very good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Spencer, we can just talk about your application form. Yes, then there was his brother Nigel, famous for his bird calls. No. But he was sadly accidentally shot dead by a duck hunter in Norfolk. Would you like to tell me about it another time, Mr. Spencer? I really have a lot to do. I must get on. Oh, certainly. Well, thank you very much for the time you've spent with us already. I haven't finished yet. Please, sit down. Please, please, please. Mr. Spencer, you're quite, uh, quite happy about going to Australia? Well, Frank thinks it's the best thing for us. But I am a little worried about leaving my mother. Oh, get in on a bit, is she? Well, you know, about your age. <laughs> but I am willing to go if Frank does, and his grandfather says it's all settled. Ah, well, it's far from that, Mrs. Spencer, far from that. There are things on this form, questions which I want an answer to. Please don't follow me about the room, Mr. Spencer. I don't like being followed. I had a cousin like that. Never mind your cousin. Please, sit down.